friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my WW Air Fryer series. I cannot wait to share the two recipes that I have for you guys. The first recipe was so good and the second one, absolutely delicious. And we went ahead and paired the second one with the first one. So I'm gonna show you a couple different dinners that you can do really with one air fryer recipe. The second one, both portions of the dinner will be in the air fryer. So definitely going to give you a lot of ideas, both absolutely positively delicious. So if you have an air fryer and you want some recipe ideas for it, or maybe you're thinking about getting an air fryer, then this is a great episode for you to listen to and watch because it's going to give you some fantastic recipe ideas. You can also cook these in a traditional oven. If you do not have an air fryer, in my opinion, they just come out a little bit better in your air fryer. I do have my air fryer, the Power Oven Elite, linked down in my Amazon store, down in the description box. So if you're looking for an air fryer, I absolutely love mine. So let's get in to the recipe video to WW Friendly Air Fryer Recipe. For tonight's air fryer recipe, we are going to be making loaded air fryer potato wedges. I'm going to pair this with some chicken and a veggie. So let me show you what is in these potato wedges. These sound so delicious. So first you're going to need some panko breadcrumbs some flour, salt, pepper, nonstick cooking spray, onion powder, cream cheese, what I have here is fat-free cream cheese, center cut bacon, fat-free cheese, and light shredded cheese. Already prepared mashed potatoes, I am using the Oh That's Good brand, some green onions, and some eggs. So let's get started on tonight's air fryer dinner. The first thing we need to get started is our bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook my bacon in the oven at 400 until it is nice and cooked through and crispy and we are going to allow it to cool and we will crumble it up. Next, we're gonna mix together our potatoes and the rest of our ingredients. So to get started on our dinner, I went ahead and added my one half of a cup of fat-free cream cheese to my bowl. We are also going to add our entire package of the oh gosh that's good or whatever it is oh that's good mashed potatoes now the reason i chose this one is because it was mixed with cauliflower you can actually have a bigger serving for the smart point so i thought that in this particular dish you probably wouldn't even notice and actually these potatoes taste really good they don't have any cauliflower taste to them at all so you're going to go ahead and you're going to add in your cream cheese, your potatoes, you're gonna add in your entire package of your crumbled bacon. And I'm gonna kinda of stir in between just because that cream cheese is room temperature, that's really important. But I'm hoping that that little bit of heat left in the bacon will also help cream it a little bit better. We're also going to add some pepper. And you can add as much or as little as you like. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of salt as well. And then we are going to add in some onion powder. That just gives it that real loaded baked potato feel. We're gonna add in half of our green onions. We wanna save out the other half for garnish. And then of course we're gonna add in one cup of the light shredded cheese, one cup of the fat free shredded cheese. And then you're going to take this and you're going to mix this all together until everything is nice and incorporated. Once you get everything nice and mixed together, look at how good that looks. We are going to put our mixture on a prepared baking sheet. You can see that I've lined mine with some parchment paper. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of our potato mixture onto our parchment paper. We are going to spread it out evenly. We want it about one and a half to two inches thick. And then we're actually going to pop it into the freezer for about an hour. Now the original recipe wants you to add a chunk of cheese to the middle. I am omitting that because I made this very non-WW friendly recipe 
WW friendly. And in order to do that, I had to omit that extra block of cheese and I also omitted the ham that the original recipe called for as well. So we're gonna get this nice and spread out and then this is going to go ahead and go into the freezer for about an hour. Once your mixture is spread out, one and a half to two inches thick, so you can see kind of how I have that spread out, I'm gonna pop this into my freezer for an hour. I'll be back in a flash, and we'll cut this into bars, get this breaded uh, delicious, and into our air fryer. While our potatoes are in the freezer, we're gonna go ahead and season up some chicken. So I took some chicken breasts, cut them in half to make them thinner. What I'm going to add to my chicken is I'm gonna use some of the Dax lemon pepper. This seasoning is so good. All of the Dax seasoning have zero salt. They are full of real ingredients, nothing fake and artificial. They are so good. And even though they do not have salt, the flavor is absolutely awesome in these seasonings. So if you're interested in picking up Dax, I do have a link down in the description box that will save you 10% off and get you free shipping. I'm also going to be adding just a little bit of the pink Himalayan sea salt, and then I'm just going to pan fry these up. When I flip them, I will season the other side. So I just pulled the potatoes out of the freezer where I cut mine into 12 equal slices. That way I can plan the smart points accordingly. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to take my potato pieces and mine are kind of square and I'm going to kind of reshape them um, just into a different shape just a little bit easier for me to roll in my rest of my ingredients and air fry so I'm actually going to roll mine into similar to like a mozzarella stick shape and then we'll be ready to put these into our egg bread crumbs and our flour and then we will get these into the air fryer so once you get your potatoes all rolled out, you are going to take them, dip them into some flour just to kind of nicely coat the potato. Then you're going to wash it in an egg and you're going to dip it into the panko breadcrumbs. And we are going to do this for all of our egg pieces. And then we're immediately going to put these either into our basket of our air fryer or put them on our air fryer pan. I went ahead and sprayed my tray with some nonstick cooking spray. So that is what they look like before they go in to the air fryer. So we're just going to repeat that process for all of our potatoes. Once you have your potatoes all rolled in the panko, look at how delicious these look. We are going to take some nonstick cooking spray and we're just going to spray just the top of each of our little potato rolls. This will help brown them and also help all this goodness stick to our rolls of potatoes. And then we're ready to put these into the air fryer. So our potatoes are in the air fryer. We are gonna go ahead and turn our air fryer on to 400 and we want to go about 15 minutes or so we'll check them as they start to cook down my air fryer does have a light so you can see the potatoes cooking away this air fryer is linked down in my amazon store if you are interested so i'll be back in a little bit to show you our completed potatoes and let's start cooking our chicken i've got my chicken in a pan ready to sear and cook up while our potatoes are in the air fryer. And then we are going to just have some carrots as a side dish. And these here are the carrots. These are the organic sliced carrots. So we're just gonna have those as our veggie. I just took the air fryer potato wedges out of the air fryer and look at how delicious these look, yum. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate up my dinner with the chicken and the carrots and I'll be back to show you my completed dinner and I'll give you the smart points for these air fryer loaded potato wedges because these are the only things that have points in tonight's dinner. So here is tonight's dinner. So I have one serving of my carrots that I just added a little bit of spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. I have one of the smaller breasts of chicken, two pieces here that I had cut down the middle. This seasoning is so good on this chicken, you guys delicious and then i have one of my loaded air fryer potato wedges and this you guys four smart points only four smart points so you could even have two because the rest of tonight's dinner is zero so my dinner is a total of four smart points i highly recommend that you guys try this recipe because these 
look delicious. Oh, and I'm having a diet Snapple half and half. So this is my four smart point dinner. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we are going to be making air fryer steak bites and mushrooms. And we are actually going to pair this with our potatoes, those loaded baked potatoes that we made in the air fryer in the last recipe. So this is going to be such a fantastic low point dinner. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So you're going to need some steak. What I have here is London broil. I am going to weigh out one pound on my food scale, put the other back into the freezer. The recipe calls for one pound of steak. You're also going to need about eight ounces of mushrooms, some Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, and then some garlic powder and some parsley and some light butter. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and cut our steak into about one inch pieces. This is exactly 16 ounces weighed out on my food scale. And then we're also going to slice our mushrooms in half and we're throwing everything in this bowl here. So let's get everything sliced up. Once your mushrooms and meat are all caught up and ready to go, we are going to be adding in one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and that is just going to give it that nice smoky flavor. So go ahead and add in that. And then we're also going to be adding in two tablespoons of melted light butter. And then some seasoning. We've got our garlic powder, and you know I just kind of wing the seasoning. And then we're also going to add in some salt. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and add in some ground black pepper. And then we're just going to give this a nice stir, get everything nice and combined together, and then it's ready to go into the air fryer. So it's really that easy, and it sounds absolutely dog mom wife. Sounds absolutely amazing. So we'll get this into the air fryer. So I've added my steak bites and my mushrooms to my air fryer trays. Now if you have the basket style, you would just add these directly to the basket. I did go ahead and spray my trays with some nonstick cooking spray and we are ready to put these into the air fryer at 400 degrees until they are cooked through. Everything is into the air fryer. So we're going to go ahead and close it up, turn it on. We want 400. And we want this from 10 to 18 minutes, just till we like our steak done. So I'm gonna start it out at 15 minutes, pop on my light, and you can see everything cooking away nicely. So I will be back when these are completed. All right, I just pulled these steak bites and the mushrooms out of the air fryer. They look so delicious. We are gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of parsley for some garnish. I have the loaded baked potato fingers in the microwave warming up. So I'll be back to show you our completed dinner and give you the smart point. So here is tonight's completed dinner. So we have one of our leftover loaded baked potatoes. This is a total of four smart points. And then your steak bites are two bites for one smart point. So I got 40 bites total out of my pound. So here I have four smart points worth of steak mushrooms are zero so this is an eight smart point dinner and these steak bites and air fried mushrooms look so good thank you for joining me on another episode in the ww air fryer recipe series these two recipes i'm telling you were so good so if you're looking for an air fryer don't forget to check out the power of an elite my air fryer down in my amazon store if you're new to my channel i'd like to welcome you this is an ongoing series i will be sharing a ton of air fryer recipes with you in the future so definitely subscribe hit the little notification bell so you don't miss a video give this one a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you thought of these two recipes and if you're going to give them a try and i'll see all of you in the next video bye guys